is Fairpoint uh, on the Belgrade waterfront uh, on this uh, Thursday evening, quite chilly, and uh, you might hear a roar of trams going across the bridge you can see <laughs> in the background because the bridge sounds quite noisy. And they're building a luxury hotel next to it as well. We've been trying out the food, haven't we, my love? Yeah. We tried eating in the restaurant and uh, we thought we're going to tell you a bit about the prices here in the Belgrade. Public transport is not to go for. It's extremely crowded uh, and uh, very noisy. Very noisy. <laughs> and, um, we've been here for like three or four days uh, and we've been using cab or taxi which is not that expensive around the city I would say maybe five dollars or three pounds four pounds which is not that bad so and also if you're here go for a pink taxi this is not sponsored by the way <laughs> but um, yeah they are one of the cheapest Nikola Tesla yeah, Nikola was a very Tesla. famous Serbian, wasn't he? Yep. Uh, and he, uh, he, he he actually had a kind of a big battle with Thomas Edison in the States about AC current and direct current. We've learned all about that. Mm. What did you think of the exhibition? I really like it. It was a bit short and the museum is way smaller than I thought it's going to be. But it was quite fun. Lots of stuff to see and lots of stuff to learn. So, yeah. The only thing that worries me is that, you know, this is a quite tough country, uh, government-wise, and I didn't like the way they were giving us electric shock treatments. <laughs> We are at one of the most popular landmarks in Belgrade, Kale Megdan, or Belgrade Fortress, which was built in Roman times. still to go uh, and uh, a very interesting experience for me as a Brit it's beautiful. to be here in Serbia. Yeah, yeah it is beautiful and uh, yeah also another thing we wanted to talk to you about is uh, restaurants and prices um, so yeah like for two people you can pretty much eat for like uh, in the restaurants and get quite good restaurants around uh, 40 pounds yeah. 50 pounds yeah. Which is like a 60, 70 euros or dollars. Yeah. Our old, yeah, it's pretty much like that. And uh, yeah, it's not that bad for a capital city of the Serbia. I really thought it's going to be much more. And one of the things you'll notice is that uh, if it's a traditional Serbian restaurant as opposed to a, mm. a trendy fast food place, then you will get lots and lots of meat. Are really big <laughs> on cooking meat and very yeah yeah it's ways. all about meat yes yeah, yeah. so love meat and the other thing which you might find horrendous uh, even if you're not a vegan uh, is that wherever you go in a restaurant uh, they smoke everybody smokes, oh yes yeah. and they are allowed to smoke inside buildings uh, and in restaurants as, as well as outside which is a bit of a shock to people from Western Europe or the US or wherever uh, and uh, so if that's something you really object to you need to be aware of that yeah. I found it very convenient actually yeah. yeah you can smoke absolutely anywhere and uh, one thing which we just saw it is like people go to come to the restaurants or in a cafe bars and they do the promotion of surveys which cigarettes you are smoking and you get the lighter as a gift
So this is a, an interesting part of Belgrade, which uh, Maladin here has brought me to, yes. uh, because this is all a new development. It's called Belgrade Waterfront. Yep. Very trendy, isn't it? It's lovely. I'm first time here, so very nice. Very impressed. New buildings. Someone said to me the other day, oh, I've heard, I've never been, but Belgrade's a really pretty place. Now, I wouldn't use the term pretty, <laughs> yeah. but uh, it's certainly interesting and lively. It's a city. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very busy city. Yeah. Not that big. Population of just about one and a half million. Uh, and, of course, uh, if you can't speak the language, which is pretty likely, unless you're mm. Serbian, uh, it, it's quite difficult, but here, like in all big capitals, so it is, it's amazing how much English actually is Yeah, I, I was absolutely like so surprised, like I, I haven't been in the Belgrade much, uh, but there are so many tourists now and a lot has changed in the past few years. And um, yeah, everyone speaks English. I was very surprised. So there you go, a little bit of a, a resume there uh, yeah. of what it's like to be in this capital city, mm. Belgrade, in Serbia. Mm.